India is the world's second largest producer of textiles. But the process of producing these textiles has a huge impact on the environment. From the excessive use of land, water and oil in growing the crops to the harmful effects of dyes and chemicals used in the textiles. Then there's textile waste. After plastic and paper, textiles are the third largest source of waste in many parts of India. But clothing has a far lower recycling rate than any other material resulting in 80% of textile waste ending up in landfills, polluting the environment, emitting toxic gases and seeping into our groundwater. This is why Usha and NDTV have come together for the Clothe with a Conscience campaign. The idea is to discover together how we can reuse and repurpose pre-consumer and post-consumer textile waste, the katran generated by weaving, cutting or stitching. How do we keep our textile waste out of landfills? And then there are some items of clothing that simply can't be thrown away. We're referring to the clothing that's worn with honor and pride and defended till the last, a soldier's uniform. India has the world's second largest military force with approximately 1.4 million active military personnel. This includes the men and women who serve in the Indian Army, Indian Air Force and Navy. When a soldier wears his uniform, he's reflecting a certain ethos, a certain training and commitment bound by rules and expectations of behavior. In the armed forces, the uniform denotes discipline, equality and respect. It's a symbol of pride and an integral part of a soldier's identity. During the course of their military career, our defense personnel wear different uniforms which change based on rank, duty and occasion. Over the years, that amounts to many, many pairs of uniforms per soldier. However, when the uniforms reach the end of their life cycle, they create a major concern. How does one dispose of them with dignity? When I retired from the Indian Army about four years back, so uh, the big question which came to my mind was what do I do with my whole lot of uniforms? Any average officer will have about at least 8 to 10 pair of uniforms at the time of retirement. So I started thinking about that and during that time only COVID also had happened. So it gave me actually opportunity, you know, in COVID a lot, lot, lot of people had a lot of new ideas. So I started working and started uh, doing research on that and I realized this uh, question doesn't have any answer all over the world. And particularly so I knew in Indian Army, we had been facing this issue, what is the correct way of doing, giving a graceful disposal to a uniform. So based on that thought process, I started developing the idea. One is to give a graceful disposal of the to uniform. Secondly, also add on to the, actually the sustainable development from the perspective of environment. And that is how the Sevaj Naseem Foundation was born. Sevaj stands for Sena, Vayu, Jal, the three services that make up the armed forces. The foundation works to give new life to old military uniforms, which contain within them, till the very end, the history of a soldier's undying devotion to his country. These uniforms cannot be donated as they are, and shredding or burning them are also not options. The Sevaj Nisim Foundation gives these uniforms a new identity, a new purpose and new pride as they now come to symbolize service of a different kind. Uniform is a special place for us. When you give for a cause, the purpose, you know that the uniform is going to the right place. It has value for the person who's going to use it. And you feel satisfied that not thrown away my uniform, but given for a good cause. The backpack is one of the most uh, popular ones, which I feel brings in a lot of joy and happiness when you see a person carrying a backpack made of it. The foundation collects old uniforms in a variety of ways. Retired officers bring them to the workshop, the foundation organizes special drives to collect them, or the old uniforms from various cantonment areas, academies and headquarters are sent in via courier. Once the uniforms are received, the team then carefully checks for any medals, insignia or name tags and removes them with due respect. Then the process of upcycling these uniforms begins. So what happens basically is that from outside, from different locations, like Assam, Guwahati, Mumbai, Leh, Ladakh, 
अलग अलग लोकेशन से हमारे पास वर्दियाँ आती है उसको हम कलेक्ट करते हैं इकट्ठा करके उसके बाद इसको हम लोग रिसाइकल करते हैं रिसाइकल में हम लोग तीन चार तरह के केमिकल्स भी यूज करते हैं ताकि जो भी उसमें का गंदा मैल है वो सारा बाहर हो जाए उसके बाद फिर हम लोग कटिंग सेक्शन में ले जाते हैं तो उसके बाद हम लोग उसको कटिंग करके स्टिचिंग पे डालते हैं स्टिचिंग करने के बाद फिर फाइनल गारमेंट जो है पैकिंग डिपार्टमेंट हमारा जाता है उसमें हमारा कई तरह का आर्टिकल होता है लैपटॉप बैग हो गया लंच बॉक्स हो गया टिफ़िन कैरियर हो गया मल्टीपर्पज बैग हो गया बच्चों के खिलौने हो गए बच्चों के बैग पैक हो गए तो इस तरह से हम लोग जो है धीरे 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 करके आगे इस लाइन में हम लोग बढ़ रहे हैं इंडियन आर्मी के प्रति हमें अच्छा करने का कुछ मौका मिल गया है तो हम लोग इस काम को कंटिन्यू रखना चाहते हैं The Sivaj Nisim Foundation works with associate NGOs and teams of skilled people who use either the cloth or the yarn in the uniform to make new products like school bags, carry bags, laptop bags, files, bottle covers, face masks, blankets, aprons, bibs and other such useful products. These products are then donated to those in need especially children and those in old age homes any earnings from the sale of the products are sent to the martyrs fund the foundation's donation drives have taken place all over india with school bags made from old military uniforms distributed amongst children in kashmir haryana assam pune and delhi These children include those from underprivileged backgrounds, the children of tea garden workers, migrant laborers and brick kiln workers and children with intellectual and learning disabilities and special needs. Kisi jagah pe aisi jaati hai jiske alag alag products bante hain. Hame badi prasannata hoti hai. In products ko dekh ke bahut acha lagta hai aur hame bahut sukoon milta hai ki ye ek sahi jagah pe pahunch jata hai. Lekin jab ye aa jata hai sanstha ke paas to wo uska अलग अलग तरीके से उपयोग करके वापस हमारे समाज में वो पहुंचा सकते हैं और मुझे बड़ी खुशी है कि ये सारी चीज़ें जो हैं बच्चे और सभी उम्र के लोग इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं और वो बड़े प्रसन्न चित्त हैं एवरी पार्ट ऑफ एन ओल्ड मिलिट्री यूनिफॉर्म इज पुट टू यूज इवन दथरन और लेफ्ट ओवर स्क्रैप ऑफ क्लॉथ piling the uh, the rags which is called katran in a more than a ton so we have started we have got a theme called har katran kuch kehti hai so from those katran our rags we have started making small stuff toys so that it can reach those children who have never played with a new toy in addition to addressing the issue of textile waste and environment conservation the entire process is also helping generate employment The products are produced by associate NGOs based in Delhi and Pune employing the services of local people particularly women and most importantly it's fulfilling someone's basic requirements for their daily needs Sena ki jo vardi aati hai na usko hum log cutting karke bag banate hain fir wo bachcho mein baantte hain acha lagta hai banane mein But even without an old uniform to donate anyone can contribute to the foundation the products made from the old uniforms are also available for purchase and the foundation accepts monetary contribution as well which go towards product distribution drives in orphanages and old age homes it should become a culture that i must do something for the society so i'll give that message to everybody ki think not to waste don't you are seeing everywhere you're seeing in ncr also what kind of garbage we are piling up it is choking our system why our the drainage system chokes in rains we are, we are just throwing the garbage not recycling it so that is my message be a responsible citizen be a responsible corporate house and contribute towards the society in whatever as lieutenant general kohli says it really can just take one responsible citizen intent on contributing to society to make a difference meet anushka jain the founder of share a door step or sads this is a single individual social enterprise run from a co-working space that collects discarded clothes and other items right from your door step and distributes it to over 135 ngos who in turn take your clothes to those who need them most You can even give away furniture and appliances to them by paying a nominal fee depending on how heavy your donation is. 
and that is how your trash becomes someone else's treasure i figure this much bigger problem people are busy and they don't have time we don't know where to give what to give and how to give and that's the problem i was trying to solve they go to a website and schedule a pickup that they want to do it there's a whole process end to end tech driven so it's as easy as like placing an order on amazon or swiggy it takes under 30 seconds uh so once you have placed an order uh we come to the doorstep at the appointed time and pick up the items uh how it works on the back end is that we have a matching algorithm which matches donations to the requirements of the nearby ngo uh so out of 135 ngos whichever in your city based on different parameters like urgency what items are required what's the requirement quantity etc one ngo will be signed to your order and the items will directly be picked up and delivered there and you as a user will be notified which ngo it has gone to so it's end to end transfer in that way so that's the process for the nation then the ngos for the segregate the items and give it to the beneficiaries based on the requirements one such ngo is max vision social welfare society in gurgaon they receive donations of clothes shoes bags and other items that have been collected by share at doorstep This is Max Vision's Dharam's Colony Center where children of migrant laborers come to study. Max Vision Social Welfare Society was started in 2004 and runs a school for the underprivileged, providing free of cost education and support for basic lifestyle. Families and neighbors of the children studying here get to fulfill their basic needs of clothing through the donation received by the center from SADS. Clothes that may be hand-me-downs for donors are of great value to the people receiving them. It may look like a typical Shani Bazaar or Buth Bazaar, but this is actually one of the clothes distribution drives organized by Share at Doorstep with partner NGO Max Vision Social Welfare Society. So, this is an NGO called Share at My Doorstep, which takes us to the clothes that they bring to us. After that, they bring us to the clothes. इसके बाद फिर उन कपड़ों के अंदर से शॉटिंग होती है जो कि हमारी टीम जो है वो लोगों के हिसाब से उनकी उम्र के हिसाब से नीड के हिसाब से उन कपड़ों को शॉर्टलिस्ट करते हैं इसके बाद उसके उनमें तय लगाना उनको यहाँ से फिर अलग एक सेपरेट लोगों के हिसाब से रखना फिर लोगों को बुलाना उसके अंदर से लोगों की पसंद की छटाई करवाना फिर उसको तय करना एंड वो फिर लोगों तक पहुँचाना ये हमारा कार्य चल रहा है तो अगर हम बात करें बेसिकली अगर हम कपड़ों की बात करें तो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल्स के लाइक जिनके पास है उस सपोर्ट है तो अब हमने कपड़े ले लिए अब नेक्स्ट सीज़न आया हो सकता है वो कपड़े हमें छोटे हो तो सम टाइम हमने क्या किया वो या तो फेंक दिए या किसी बहुत ही कम भाव में किसी रद्दी वाले को दे दिए ऐसा होता है तो बट वही लोग अगर वो कपड़ा हम तक यहाँ पहुँचाते हैं शेयर एट माई डोर स्टेप तक पहुँचाते हैं वो भी हम तक पहुँचाते हैं तो वो कपड़ा फिर ऐसे लोगों को जाता है जिनके लिए एक बहुत ही बड़ी वो ज़रूरत है or a t-shirt that we can buy at the touch of a button on our smartphones whose capacity to make us happy lasts only till the next touch of a button by is another holds the power to bring smiles on the faces of those who do not have this convenience geeta naam mere char bacche hain main ta kaam silai karte hain ise pati majboori karte hain che gora ke pet palna hai usme महंगा तो कपड़ा पड़वे करेगा यही कपड़ा मेरा यहाँ से मिल जाते हैं वही पैसा चार पाँच सौ बच जाएगा तो घर के राशन चल जाते हैं वो कुक मिल जाते हैं किताब उताब खरीद देते हैं जूते चप्पल की जरूरत है हमसे तो खरीदाएगा नहीं इतना महंगा पचास रुपया के चप्पल लेने जाएगा दस दिन पहनेगा टूट जाएगा उसके बाद वही पचास रुपया बचेगा तो सब्जी ले आएगी तो कई दिन खाएगी दो दिन खाएगी बच्चे के कपड़ा उपड़ा नहीं है मतलब जैसे पैंट वेंट हो गया ये सब रह जाएंगे तो बच्चे कम से कम पहन तो सकते हैं अच्छा से वही लाएगा जैसे बाहर से जींस खरीद के लाते हैं पाँच सौ के पड़ते हैं सात सौ के पड़ते हैं यहाँ से ले जाएगा तो वो पैसा बचेगा तो मेरा कितना मदद होगा जैसे पुराना कपड़ा हो गया 
वो पैसे वाला है नए नए खरीद लेते हैं पुराना कपड़ा स्कूल में डालना चाहते हैं जैसे गरीब गरीब आदमी की किसी की मदद हो जाए हम लोग हमारे पति विकलांत हैं हम लोग हम लोग हम भी वही है पोता पोती हैं उस माँ बाप खत्म हो गए हैं हम लोग उपी से हैं मैं हमारे घर में नौ आमदी हैं बच्चे लेके सब कोई पति वती लेके सब कोई हम लोग यहाँ बहुत साल से हैं हमारा सब कुछ मिलते हैं सेंटर में कपड़ा लाता सब कुछ से मजा तो मदद मिलते हैं आप लोग फेंक देते हैं हम लोग हम लोग के लिए वो जरूरी हैं हम लोग पहन लेते हैं हमारे बच्चा पहनते हैं मेरे सब बच्चे पहन लेते हैं मेरे घर वाला भी पहनते हैं मैं भी पहनते हैं हम गरीब आमदी हैं हम लोग का कहाँ से अपना आएंगे हम लोग मिल जाते हैं अपन पहन लेते हैं कोई सिलवाने जाते हैं तो पैसा लगते हैं यहाँ से मिल जाते हैं तो मदद हो जाते हैं तो मुझे ही घर चलाना पड़ता है क्योंकि बच्चे भी हैं और सास ससुर भी हैं सब ही परिवार है तो मुझे ही अपनी तरफ से जो मिल रही है यहाँ से तो खर्चा पानी मुझे ही चलाना पड़ता है जैसे मैटरी वगैरह बॉक्स है जैसे बैग वगैरह है कपड़े हैं कहाँ कुछ भी मिले तो मैं घर ले जा अपने बच्चों को यूज कर सकती हूँ giving your clothes and possessions a conscience by donating them to organizations like share at doorstep isn't just recycling and repurposing them extending their life and doing someone a good deed it also has a positive impact on the health of those who receive these clothes ab aise mein jo is tarah ke kapde hain wo un logo ko kafi madad karte hain kyun kyunki usse wo apna tan dhak sakte hain usse wo jo seasonal Uh, मैं कहता हूँ बीमारियाँ हो सकती हैं उससे वो बच सकते हैं बिकॉज हाइजीन का भी अगर हम देखें ना कई बार ये लोग बेचारे चार चार पाँच पाँच दिन पुराने कपड़े पहनते हैं बट वो जो नया कपड़ा अगर इन तक जा रहा है तो जितने ज़्यादा इन लोगों तक ऐसे कपड़े जाएंगे तो कहीं ना कहीं जो एक हाइजीन से जो बीमारियाँ होती हैं वो इन लोगों से इन ये लोग उनसे बच सकते हैं तो समटाइम जैसे कई बार शूज़ वगैरह आते हैं अब ये लोग क्या होता है कई बार जैसे काम वगैरह पर जाते हैं अब चप्पल टूटी हुई है पहनने के लिए कपड़े नहीं हैं तो कई बार वो पैरों में भी घाव हो जाते हैं कई बार अब खुद ही आप एक अंदाज़ा लगा सकते हैं एक लेडी जिसका चप्पल टूटा हुआ है उसको अगर एक नया चप्पल मिल रहा है वो भले पुराना है उस वो मैटर नहीं करता बट अगर उसे एक नया चप्पल मिल रहा है तो शायद वो चल के जाए तो उसे घाव नहीं होगा जो कि उस चप्पल से हो जाएगा तो गरीबी में ज़रूरी नहीं है आप किसी को पैसे देंगे तो ही गरीबी है है ना ये चीज़ें भी कहीं ना कहीं गरीबी हटाने में अपना एक महत्वपूर्ण योगदान देना तो कहने को कपड़ा एक बहुत छोटी चीज़ है हमने ले लिया फेंक दिया बहुत छोटी चीज़ है उन लोगों के लिए जिनके पास है बट बहुत बड़ी बात है उन लोगों के लिए जिनके पास नहीं चूजिंग टू डोनेट क्लोथ एंड अदर मटीरियल दैट वी डू नॉट नीड इज नॉट ओनली अ सोशल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बट इट ऑल्सो बेनिफिट दी एनवायरमेंट सो वी एक्चुअली फोकस बोथ ऑन एनवायरमेंटल एंड सेल सोशल इम्पैक्ट सोशल ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज वी आर एबल टू गिव इट टू दीपल हु आर इन नीड इफ वी टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर Uh, each household has close to 19000 worth of items especially in tier 1 lying around which they don't use and out of this 80% of the items end up into landfill uh, which out of which 45% is reusable which can obviously support so many millions of people in india who don't have the basic necessities uh, so that's the social side of it we currently support uh, 135 ngos across 11 cities in india um, and on the environmental side each time you kind of donate your stuff you increase the life of these items so you know use it for a whole life span by one year to 1.5 years and hence reducing the carbon emission by 20-30%. Your waste can be someone else's wealth. Your trash can be treasure for others. But we all share only one planet and we can collectively help it breathe better if we stop choking it with old clothes and use them to help others.